My name is Yair Ramot. I'm the CEO of the Movio Medical. I've done, in the last 12 years, I've done some three asset deals, and the Movio Medical is next in line. Okay, so let's jump in. Uh, basically, what we're doing, the Movio Medical is developing a technology for cleaning inside cavities, inside the body cavities from infection. Basically, what we're doing is we're transforming the infection treatment. As you're all probably familiar with, 80% of infection is manif manifested as biofilm. Once biofilm is getting into the picture, we basically lost the battle. Okay, this, this layer protects the bad guys, doesn't allow us to kill those bad guys with antibiotics or any other solution that we can use. What we're doing is we're using nanoparticles and ultrasound energy to mechanically dismantle this biofilm layer. And once we do that, the bad guys lose their protection and we can treat them, either wash away the bacteria or use any other uh, application like antibiotics, chlorhexidine, iodine, or whatever you would use to kill those bad guys. Okay. The, the first, I mean, our application is a platform, basically, we can clean any cavity within the body as long as the infection there or you know, manifested as some kind of a biofilm. We're now focusing on the first indication is the total knee joint replacement. This is because this is a very simple procedure, a very known one procedure, and something that we can really see our efficacy and safety and present that and demonstrate that pretty good. Uh, so basically the need is obvious, infection is all over the place, it's one of the, the main issues in surgery and in orthopedic surgery as such, and the Movio Medical is using, as I said, nano, on a, cleaning on a nanoscale, basically the nanoparticles are affected as thousands of brushes running within this cavity and just dismantle whatever biofilm they can find in the cavity. So we can clean very inaccessible areas within that cavity that you cannot clean in a standard of care that is used today. Okay. As I said, this is the first indication. The uh, first, uh, I mean, 2% of the population is getting infected with such an infection that cannot be treated with antibiotics. Uh, and there's about 50% failure in, that, in this standard of care that we can see today. We want to reduce that by 50% again and lower that to about 20%. The standard of care today is just washing the uh, cavity with nine liters of saline, just pulse lavage, and the failure rate is over 50%, as I said. So what is our technology? We take ultrasound, we apply the ultrasound onto the solution with the nanoparticles inside, creating a cavitation effect. The cavitation effect exercises the, exercise the uh, nanoparticles to move within the cavity and just hit whatever targets they have there uh, statistically and dismantle all the biofilm. Okay? As I said, thousands of brushes running within that cavity. This is our product. We have manufactured the first batch of that. It's, it's composed of Three elements, one is a capital element, the generator of the ultrasound, and two others are the knee element which sits on the knee and holds in the solution onto the knee. And the other one is the mixing device which creates this, the solution with the nanoparticles. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is to not do a revolution, but do an evolution within the system. We don't want to fight the system. So we want to add our process onto the standard of care and intervene within the, their procedure, which is the first time they're trying to clean the cavity from the infection, okay? And add, as of that, reduce the, the risk by 50%. We can all, also intervene within this revision surgery, which is the next stage, and a much more complicated one and a much more expensive one. The average cost is about one, 160K dollars, okay, so that's a lot of money. 
the market opportunity is huge. We're talking about $1.5 billion, billion uh, dollars worldwide. These are, these are numbers from the literature. Basically, in real life, it's almost double these numbers. Okay, and we decided to start with the TKA, which not, it's not the biggest portion of that market, but it's the easiest one to penetrate into, into the market. Okay, we've completed testing of all the VMV that we need for FDA submission and clinical trials, meaning animal study, efficacy and safety, implant integrity, cleaning of tissue and usability done with cadavers. Okay, so we're ready for FDA submission. We'll submit the first claim of FDA, which is a 510K, within the four coming months and trial, start the clinical trial as well in parallel to that. And the second claim, which is cleaning of biofilm, which as of now, no company has in the market right now a claim like that from the FDA. We will probably be the first ones to receive that kind of claim. Uh, intellectual property, we have a good portfolio. One granted patent in the US for the ultrasound cleaning method in a whole. And the irrigation device for surgical cleaning is granted now in the EU and is review, in review in the US. Probably within the next few months, we'll receive that as well. Okay, the business model is a value split model, basically. As you can see, the COGS is very low for the product. The product is a simple product. It's a very low cost product, so the margins are very high. And it's a good way, I mean, we can do a lot of profit with this uh, uh, product. As for the competitors in the market, the ones that are now in the market and FDA approved are the ones that are using uh, different solutions for taking care of biofilm. They do not have a claim and they cannot really take care of biofilm, but they do care, take care of infection as such. We will be the first ones to have, as I said, a claim for biofilm, really cleaning biofilm, and doing it mechanically and not with antibiotics and other elements. As for the company status, as I said, we've done a POC, bench test and animal study completed, VMV completed, and we're preparing for submission for FDA. And in, in parallel to that, we want to do a three-center study a, of clinical study, one in Michigan in the US, one in Israel, and one in Finland for the CE mark. Uh, what we're looking at up to now, I mean, we've, in, in the company, they have invested $1.5 million until now, and we're looking for the next round, round A will be $5.5 million in three trenches. The first trench will take us all the way to FDA approval and pilot of clinical trials so we can move for a soft launch into the market. The second and third one will take us to extensive clinical trials, which we have to do for marketing and developing the next generation of prevention product, prevention infection instead of treating the PJI, the post infection, and will take us into the market into uh, selling the product already. Uh, all of this couldn't have been done without our excellent team, which I'm proud of. Roy as an R&D manager, Gal as a CTO, Noam, our CFO, and uh, Iran, our VP business development guy. Okay, and we have an excellent advisory board as well, which is Shai, sitting here, uh, which is CEO of Medax, which is an accelerator that we are part of with a portfolio comp company of that accelerator. We have Professor Ran Schwarzkopf, which is uh, the head of an orthopedic surgeon in NYU in New York. We have Omuri Lubovsky, which is uh, the head of the Department of uh, Surgery, Orthopedic Surgery in Israel, in Barzilla Center. And we have Nathan Keller, which is an MD and our biology consultant as well. Thank you so much for attending. If you have any questions, need any additional information, please don't hesitate to call me and get in touch. Thank you so much.